Today we are talking about spring rolls and our super addicting Thai peanut sauce. Now you have to go find yourself some rice paper which is usually in the Asian food section of your grocery store. Oh yeah, and the rice noodles, which are easier to find, also in the Asian food section. The only prep that's necessary here is chopping some tofu up and marinating it a couple of hours before you start the rest of the process, so you've got some really tasty tofu. And unwrapping all of your produce from the plastic so that your YouTube fans don't comment on how much plastic you use. All right, here comes the hard but kind of fun part is all of the chopping. Uh, we like to do this together as kind of an activity, gets it done faster, have someone to talk to. Most everything here, you're looking to chop things so that they're the size of your spring roll. So with the cucumber, I'm gonna cut it into threes and then threes or fours again, I want cucumber sticks. With carrots, we've tried the shredded carrots before and they poke through the rice paper. So your best bet is actually to use a peeler and just make some long peels of carrot. Those stay in there really well. Green onions, those are already in the shape you need, just cut the icky ends off. The red pepper takes a little bit of finesse. You need to cut the bulb ends off both sides so that you have kind of a straighter stick so that it doesn't poke through also. So as I'm chopping, I am considering the color wheel here. There's quite a few things on my final plate that are gonna be green. So I'm alternating green, another color, green, another color. So just keep that in mind when you're plating. The purple cabbage, you can do pretty haphazardly. You just want it small enough that it fits. Cilantro, the fastest way I've found is to pop the top off and then there's another stem that has two more. You pop those off also. The mango and the avocado take a little bit of skill. What you wanna do is slice the side off. Both obviously have a pit in the center. Then slice that side in half and then skin it. Then you're gonna do as thin of slices as you can with it flat on your cutting board. So with the mango, I'm gonna peel the skin off as best I can. It usually takes a little bit of paring with a knife and then get the skinniest slices that I can. And with the avo, avocado, the skin should come off in one, one swoop for you. You want these as thin as you can because they're actually the prettiest thing in your spring roll and they're we're gonna put them at the bottom so that you can see. Oh, we didn't do the tofu. We didn't say put the tofu in the oven. Can I say that now? Spring rolls are a little bit of a multitasking thing. So you're gonna wanna put your tofu in to bake while you start chopping your ingredients so that you're timing everything correctly. So tofu in, then start chopping because later we're gonna flip the tofu and we wanna make sure that it's cooled a little bit before we try to start making our spring rolls. We bake our tofu at 350 on either parchment paper or a silpat mat for about 10 to 15 minutes on each side. We like it pretty well done, so just check yours and see which temperature you like it cooked at. And now for the star of the show, it's much less pretty, but it is the most delicious part of this meal, the Thai peanut sauce. So on our website, we make this recipe in our eight ounce container. Now we're doubling the recipe and making it in the 64 ounce low profile container that came with our machine. All we had to do was double the recipe and it worked perfect. Three fourths of a cup of water, six tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of sriracha, a small slice of lime with no peel. If it were a lemon, I'd keep the peel on, but with limes, we take it off. Two cloves of garlic. If you haven't seen that crazy way that they get garlic out of skin by like spearing it, it's a video that went viral. You should check it out. I'm just gonna do it the normal way because I am not a machete wielding crazy person. Two cloves of garlic. We've got ginger. Here I take the peel off. Sometimes I leave it in if I'm gonna be blending for a while like with our green juice, but here I'm gonna take it off because we're not blending that long. And then a cup of peanuts. We try to do roasted unsalted. Um, the soy sauce is pretty salty, obviously. That's what soy sauce is. Ours came out a little bit too watery this time. So we just added a little bit more peanuts and now it's perfect. Now you wanna boil your water, dump our rice noodles in. Just for the record, the rice noodles really are an optional ingredient. We don't always use them, especially if it's just us having dinner, but if we are serving this as hosts and we're hosting other people, we do like to use the noodles because it makes these more filling. Next up is cooling your noodles and your tofu a little bit. You just don't want them to be piping hot because it doesn't mix well with the cold vegetables. Okay, 
That was a lot of prep work, but now we get to do the fun part, which is uh, actually rolling our spring rolls. So the trick that I've learned is that you have to get your rice paper wet on all sides, and so you have a plate of water out. Now, if you're serving this to people who have never done spring rolls before, they're gonna pick the plate up and spill water everywhere. So I put a little piece of cilantro in the middle so that it's pretty clear that there's water floating and not to pick it up. So you wanna get your workstations all set up, a plate of water, all of the ingredients, and then you wanna make sure that people have space to do this. The tricks that I use are making sure that the edges of the rice paper are really wet, otherwise you're gonna have crunchy, icky bites, and also doing a side-to-side -side building as opposed to an end-to-end -end building. So I kind of stack everything in the middle and make sure that the width of my spring roll ingredients is the width of the total that I actually want the spring roll to be. You can do this however you want. Lenny likes to put his sauce inside, I like to dip my sauce after. You can make a monster chipotle style one if you want. You get to kind of be your own self here when you're making your spring rolls, so enjoy the process. I like to put slices of avocado or mango on the bottom because I think they're the prettiest ingredient that we're using. And then I like to put a contrasting color right under it. So if I'm using avocado, maybe I'll put the purple cabbage right under it. With the mango, I'll put something green. You also wanna consider flavor combinations. So if you're using mango, having fresh mint with that is absolutely delicious. One thing that I don't want you to get overwhelmed with is I'm mentioning a lot of ingredients. There's so many different things that you can use here. I don't want you to feel like you can't make this if you don't have absolutely everything. We almost always put snap peas in our spring rolls and we didn't have any before filming this. That doesn't mean I need to go to the store and get snap peas. We'll just have spring rolls without snap peas this time. So pick the things that you like out of this, pick the things that you can easily find and make them even if you can't find all the ingredients. These actually last in your fridge for a couple of days. The only thing that you have to make sure to do is to separate the wrappers because they will stick to each other. So whether that's plastic wrap or a little piece of parchment paper in between each, that'll really help keep them for a few days. And like we said, the sauce is absolutely delicious on a lot of different things. So you can keep that in your refrigerator for up to a week, I would say, and eat it on everything. I know that was a lot of prep work, but it's a really fun process. I hope that you enjoyed this video about making spring rolls and our Thai peanut sauce in the Vitamix. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.